What's your name, darling? Agent. You think the men I work for are just criminals? Like a like a stick-up man? They're in everything. I'm Mike Simmel from fxguide.com for why. Well, the Marvel Universe is expanding yet again into a magical, almost horror genre with the TV show Agent Carter. This season, Peggy has moved to LA, which required the normal range of period location work and green screen. But she's also been battling against the effects of the sinister and transformative substance, Zero Matter. Zero Matter takes on various forms depending on who it comes in contact with. It sometimes freezes people and needs some Houdini rigid body shatter effects. Or in the case of Jason Wilkes, the character was dimensionally shifted and this required the effects team to invent a type of visual developer or fixer, courtesy of Howard Stark. The very nature of the material itself is that it's super black, which produces a huge range of visual effects problems. Most commonly, the zero matter manifested itself as sort of a cross between liquid spiders and a sample of magnetic ferrofluid a sample of which Sheena Dougal, the visual effects supervisor, took on set with a magnet to show the cast for inspiration. Sheena also consulted with Dr. Clifford Johnson, a professor of physics and astronomy at USC. It is this theoretical physicist who provided the Thomas Fermi equations that you see on the blackboards of the show. It's also his pencil sketches and advice on quantum mechanical theory that were the basis for the various containment devices that Wilkes uses, such as this plasma tank, which is phasing the magnetic field in different directions and is actually inspired by real-world containment devices. And speaking of building visual effects on the basis of real-world physicist theories, when we see the film footage from the Isodyme atomic tests of 1946, at the heart of the explosion is what seems to be a black hole and the work of science advisor Kip Thorne. This is perhaps not surprising as Double Negative did the visual effects for Agent Carter and they also wrote a special ray tracer that actually bends light rays allowing for the classic accretion disk shape of a black hole. But Double Negative also had an enormous amount of face tracking to do this season thanks to the way the zero matter affected Whitney Frost. The zero matter also required over 20 members of the cast to be modelled with some 60 photos of each fed into a photogrammetry piece of software to be used as digital doubles or as stand-in geometry. Face tracking can be really complex, but Double Negative has a new optical flow tool, Magic Warper, based on vector motion tracking or 2D pixel flow, and it proved invaluable for transforming actress Win Everett. The transformative and almost magical Zero Matter is what Marvel fans will recognise as Dark Force from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It'll be really interesting to see if this plays in any other Marvel properties coming up. But don't forget to subscribe for more behind the scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wide. I always thought you should be in pictures, Peg. I'd rather be the cowboy. I like it. I don't think the audience is ready yet. But they're ready for a movie based on a comic book. Sounds like a dreadful idea.